fella. We can be that mistake. Let's do this. What's up, y'all? What's going on, guys? We're Embrace the Suck 21. Yes, we are. I'm Spencer. And I'm Daniel. And y'all have asked for it. We are now doing Greg Davies on What I Lie to You. Yes. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that thing. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Greg's with Greg. Pialidocious. Yes. <laughs> but yes. I did anyway. I'm a liar. It's all right. It's what we do. It's what we do. Yes. So, uh, anyway, let's see you with Mr. Highly, Gilbert. Highly requested. Everyone likes what I lie to you. So yeah. Yeah. This is... And our Patreon fan loves in-betweeners. So, yep. this so... is a, uh, a melding of the both. <laughs> yes. Let's just dive in. Let's go. Greg. Yeah. <laughs> Could you sing... Bar bar black sheep, as if you were frightened, please. Fine, I'm an incredibly versatile actor, let's go. Frightened. <laughs> frightened. 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 Okay. Oh! Bar <laughs> 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 black sheep, have you anyone? Besides. <laughs> yes, sir. I'm Three packs full. Give me another emotion. No, well, it's but and that's. Yeah, the... I know, but give me another one. Just... Well, all right. Um, <laughs> sexual joy. Black. <laughs> Hang on a minute. <laughs> I used to try and scare school friends by planting a particular drawing in their pockets, signifying death. <laughs> what? Please. What do you think? What was the drawing? It was an owl. <laughs> Uh, what, what? The Owl of Death. <laughs> yeah. it's, uh, its full title was actually the Hoot Owl Death Sign. Oh. Oh. What would you mean, the Owl of Death? What was it doing in this drawing? Hoot Owl Death Sign. That old chestnut. I could draw it for you if you like. <laughs> Greg? Yeah? I've got a pen, I've got some paper. I'll come over there. No, I'll, I'll, I'll come to you. Don't stand up next to me, it just highlights it. <laughs> <laughs> can you, uh, Greg, can you... He's <laughs> <laughs> so tall. He's so bad. So please draw the owl of death. So. <laughs> Don't look at it, David. You'll die. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god! Oh. My god. Oh. <laughs> Don't look at it. You'll die. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh man. He looks insane right yeah. now. Oh. oh, please put it away. Yeah. So just imagine, just imagine, you're innocently, you went in your pocket, innocently <laughs> minding your own business. You go, oh, what's this in my... <laughs> oh, no, it's the Owl of Death. Your friends would find that in their pocket and be... Not my friends, my deadly enemies. <laughs> right. What would, what would be the purpose of that? It was uh, for people who had crossed my friend and I. Well, what kind of things would they have to do to cross you? There was an English teacher who we uh, found a bit boring, so he uh, slipped one in his pocket. That was the uh, that was the highlight of the whole campaign. Actually, <laughs> was that the English teacher once stood up in front of the class and was chatting away and went into his pocket and went, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, everyone. Um, does anyone know anything about this? Because I've just... <laughs> Did you, was the purpose of it to, to scare them? Like, you would tell yeah. them that later on it was you? Or... No, no, of course not. We were both nerdy cowards. <laughs> Did you, you created a sort of mythology around what might happen if you found the hoot owl of death in, in your pocket, it, In our minds, anyone who found the hoot owl of death in their pocket would uh, very shortly afterwards meet their demise. <laughs> <laughs> Time to take a guess. What are you going to say? Is what it do we true? Think, Phil? I don't know. What do you think? Uh, he has the face of someone that would do that. But he is a good actor. He is, but apparently, from what he's saying, he was kind of a nerdy kid in school. He didn't have this alpha male uh, esque appearance yeah, to him I, until he became Mr. Gilbert. Yeah. All right. I, I'll, um, I'm still going to say it's a lie. I'm going to go with true. All right. <laughs> Let's see. Do you, think, um, do you think that is possible? I, th I think it's possible, but I think it's a, it's a lie. I think it's a lie. OK. My you say lie, you say lie. What about you, Lee? I say lie. Right. Greg. Yes. Truth or lie? Well, it would be pretty tragic if two uh, boys had spent their youth doing <laughs> that, wouldn't it? True. And it is indeed <laughs> true. Ah! <laughs> I told you, man. I told you. 
Oh, man. <sighs> but God. Now, there is nothing in the title that's suggesting that these are all true or all lies. Nothing. So y'all can't give us shit for that. Yes. At school, I invented a game called Snorkel Parker Music Practice Room. What? Right. There we are. Uh, please, team, what do you think? What was the game called again? Um... <laughs> it was called Snorkel Parker Music Practice Room. So, is everybody dressing up as Liam Gallagher and going to drop into the water and play musical instruments? I don't know. That's... Uh, what? You said board magic word, parka. Yeah. Right, and can you describe the game to us? Myself and um, several friends, uh, we all had snorkel parkas. Well, what is a snorkel yeah. parka for some, for some of the younger viewers? <laughs> it's, um, it, it's a large uh, hooded coat with a fur-lined Oh, collar. the one that comes out at the front. Yeah. And, it's for, okay. and you, can, you can zip it up so that it comes right up and uh, so that only your eyes are visible. Can you describe the rules? Imagine we've never met, I've got Miss Norkel Parker. <laughs> what would happen next? Well, then you and I, Lee, will go to the music practice room when... I'm not um, falling for this again. <laughs> you zip up your Snorkel Parker, yeah. and then you, you... When someone's practising their violin with a violin teacher in the music practice room, yeah. you duck down b below the window, and then you just come up with your Snorkel Parker on. <laughs> So just imagine you're a historical reenactment society. Oh. You've got your members there. I suppose. I suppose. How I would you? Would. I'd have to fully demonstrate it by using my um, making an ad. Feel box, free to ask park, Richard yeah. and David to help you out on this. Will you help me out with this? Um, well, I mean, I, 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 you see, this is one of the moments where. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like having to. <laughs> all right. Want to do it? Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So if so if you imagine that this was the music practice room and and there was some someone in there having a lunchtime a lunchtime violin lesson, yeah. you you would wait until they were in mid tutorial and right, then, I'm picturing it, yeah. And then together, yeah. after three. Okay. Yeah. One, two, three. What the hell is this thing? Oh. That's it, really. <laughs> was the secret to the game the fact that they never knew who you were? You no, they wouldn't know who you were because yeah. it's only your eyes showing. And he'd tell you to go away, so you would all duck down away, and then you'd leave it for a minute. And then come back. And then up you'd up just come back up, up again. Yeah. 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 What age were you? Maybe... Tell me, you weren't one of the teachers. <laughs> <laughs> no, maybe 13, 14. Right the way through to when you left. Right, right through to sixth form. Yeah. You, you never got told to stop this, or you got. A... Yeah. Would well, they would they would bang on the window and be really furious for with us. For five years. They never once thought to come out. <laughs> they did. And say, lads, it's getting really boring. <laughs> <laughs> but you I, see, I know you are, Greg, because you're eight foot six. <laughs> But just out of interest, by show of hands, who would like to play Snorkel Parker Music Practice Room? <laughs> I'm, yeah. I'm quite keen on the game. I've already played it, I didn't really enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds ridiculous. I mean, the last it time. It does I... sound utterly ridiculous, Greg. <laughs> it's almost as if you're lying. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think he is lying, Lee? What are you going to say on this one? He's lying. And he has to be lying. That's a lie. Five years? Five right Yeah, yeah. It's just such a ridiculous game. Like, what do you get out of it? Uh, uh. I, I, I get it because you're disrupting teaching. Yeah. So, yes, I get that. The yeah. vein of it is very... I get that. Yeah. Um, but yeah. what? Yeah, it, it has to be a lie. You with yeah. me on this one? Yeah, I, I, I am. Yeah, I am. okay. All right, we're saying lie. Well, I, I actually believe him. I could just see you doing that for kicks and giggles. Bob, which way are you leaning with this? Well, it's got the anticipation, it's got the jeopardy, <laughs> it's got the lot. Yeah. What a game! <laughs> Greg, Something tells you me you're going to get a phone call from Waddington's. <laughs> <laughs> if this gets picked up, this is just because I've talked about it now, it's mine, right? Oh, it's only yours yeah. if you really played it. If it's a lie, then you haven't copyrighted well, who's it. it? If it is a lie and I've just read it off this thing, whose idea is it? Well, the I'm the person who wrote the lie. <laughs> I'd like to. I'd like to maintain the rights to Balaclava Sports Hall. <laughs> <laughs> of course, Bob would say that. <laughs> this seems like something Bob Mortimer would do. <laughs> like the off-brand of this. Oh God! It has Bob written all over it. 
Mm. <laughs> if, yeah. if anyone's interested. <laughs> right, Lee, it's time to take a guess. What are you going to say? We're going for truth. You're saying it's true. OK. Uh, uh, Greg, were you telling the truth? Well, or were you telling the well, truth? Oh, right, because that would make me utterly pathetic, wouldn't it? Yes, I was telling the truth. Oh, <laughs> oh man. I... All right. Wow. So he is someone completely different than I thought. Yeah, yeah. He's not the straight-laced son of a bitch bastard that yeah. we make him out to if, be. If I didn't know him from Inbetweeners, uh, like, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, remember, like, which which one was it? The first Graham Norton or the Miriam, uh, whatever her last name is, where he, she, he talked about when he was a teacher and he had to go you know, take care of some business, and he still had a microphone on. Oh, my God, that was funny. Yeah, that just summed up him for me in a nutshell. Yeah. And this is, all, everything so far is reinforcing that. Yeah, to me, I just, I guess I am now where you were. All right. Because that was just like, that's an honest mistake. Even yeah. the hardest of hardest people yeah. fuck up. Of course, but of course. But this is, yeah. And the tallest of people, apparently. And the tallest. It's caused an injury to one man whilst trying to get a different man to say the word vegetables. What? Please, Steve. Right. Just the word vegetables. Yeah. Do you what? really like the word vegetables? Um, no, not as a general rule, no, okay. but I liked it when this man said it. Why? <laughs> what was that about this man, the way he said vegetables, that was funny? Did he have a speech impediment? No, no, he didn't. No, he was a very intense man, though, and he was also Austrian. I was with a friend once, and he's a, he was a colleague of ours, sorry, and I overheard him say vegetables, and we both found it incredibly funny. Um, so, can you just roughly give us a, an impression of how he used to say vegetables? Is it even just he, said, he said it exactly like this. Yeah. Oh, vegetables! <laughs> <laughs> and then we happened to be on a coach trip with him, and so we spent the whole coach trip <laughs> trying to get him to say vegetables again. Right, so again. where were you? Where were you going and how did uh, you go I was on a school trip. I used to be a teacher, so we and were... And he, a... he was a teacher? Yeah, he was a teacher. What did he, he teach? He was the head of languages and he head was... Head of languages? Yeah. <laughs> You used to go, the vegetable. Vegetable. Yeah. <laughs> imagine, imagine I'm the man. OK, I'm on the coach, I'm, I'm sat, we're, we're driving. Off you go. Um, so I said, so, um... Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> You're very big, aren't you? <laughs> this isn't like him at all. <laughs> You're very big, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> So I was saying things like, oh, I've, I've been trying to um, keep fit lately, I'm, and I know that you're into keep fit. It, you know, it, w would you re recommend for a healthy diet? And he was going, well, you know, I would, uh, you must eat a balanced diet, you must eat greens, and uh, <laughs> you, you must enjoy some protein in, in limited... I was going, yeah, yeah, but, I mean, <laughs> if you were to group some of those foods together... <laughs> <laughs> And he was going, well, I mean, yeah, you must have carbohydrates, of course, uh -oh. and you must have... <laughs> and it was, it was horrific. It went on for about an hour. <laughs> uh, and every time I tried to find a new angle for vegetables, his ludicrous Austrian interpretation of things led us down a dark alley. It, it was literally an hour in the making. And how did you finally get him to say it? Um, I, I honestly can't remember. It came out of nowhere, and he suddenly said it, and he said it with such passion. It was... He, he went, Oh, well, of course you must have vegetables! <laughs> I, I started biting my hand to stop myself from laughing. <laughs> and my... And my friend who was next to me, there was a, there was a jagged piece of metal at the front of the coach, and because it was so funny, just to remind you, you were vegetables, of course! <laughs> And my friend saw the piece of metal and pushed his knee into it on purpose. Oh, man! He stopped himself from laughing. <laughs> and blood started, like, spraying out of his... Oh! Started spraying out of his knee, yeah. And that is, this is getting elaborate, this story. And I'll tell you another detail. We went and did the trip, which was in Paris, and then after, we came all the way back... <laughs> all the way back to, to um, Calais, and I said to him, um, you know, we put all the kids' passports in that hotel in Paris last night. Did you, um, did you remember to... Because he was in charge of the trip. Did you remember to bring those? And he, he, he was standing up in front of the children on the coach and he went, Oh, Scheiße! And we had 
to speak to the port authorities <laughs> and get permission to take the kids on without passports while he went back on his own. <laughs> Can I tell you one more detail as well? We were also standing in the middle of Paris under the Eiffel Tower. We'd been there for an hour and the kids were all running around. And he came over and went, we must, we must go, we are late for our next appointment. <laughs> and I said, well, we should just make sure that all the kids are here. And he goes, yes, of course we should, yes. And he turned around and went, is everybody here? <laughs> <laughs> Thinking, what do you think? Um, the fact that he's gone into so much detail about this, has, I'm gonna say true. Yeah, me yeah, too. Yeah, it has to be ridiculous, but true. Yeah, <laughs> Shaza. Oh god. Uh, that's that's gonna get through YouTube's uh, copyright, whatever yep. the fuck it is. Oh, uh, man. I think it's true. True from John. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. I think lie. You are a fantastic actor, Mr. Greg Davis. Well, so, so what are you going to say? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, think, I think you'll find I'm BAFTA okay. nominated. <laughs> We're all BAFTA nominated. <laughs> <laughs> False. Uh, okay, we'll go lie. I'm going to say it's a lie, Greg. Well, Truth well, or lie? It is. The truth. Oh. <laughs> yes! This is Pauline. Last year we met at a Snoop Dogg gig and we bonded because we were the two oldest fans in the room. <laughs> what? David, how do you know Pauline? This is Pauline. When I was a cub, she was the Arcala and she had to take me out of the scout hut once for asking too many questions when we were being given a talk by the police. <laughs> and finally, Greg, your relationship with Pauline. Uh, this is Pauline. She's my mum. She once drove past me when I was having my first fight and got out of her car to cheer me on. <laughs> Lee Steen, where do you start? Greg, how old were you on this first fight? Twelve. Right. And, and so where was this? At school? Uh, no. Where was it? Um, outside, uh... Outside the music room? <laughs> <laughs> it was in a street. In the street? Yeah. And who were you fighting? I, I honestly can't remember his name. Uh, he was a lad uh, and he was in the year above me. And I remember he had fairly distinctive um, red hair. <laughs> Is that why you fought him? <laughs> I fought him uh, um, because he'd fought one of my friends. Oh, OK, so this was like a... Revenge. You were, like, you were like, doing a heroic gesture. Yeah. And he was older than you? Yes. What was your I... friend called? Well, I'm from Shropshire, he, so he uh, he was called uh, Chinese Dave. <laughs> you called Chinese Dave in Shropshire? No, I just think it's a, he, he was called Chinese Dave, and I honestly don't know the reason, because he certainly wasn't Chinese. I think it's because he used to wear a hat. <laughs> no, no, that would be it. That would be it. That'd be it, probably. What I'd was get... your fighting technique, do you recall? It was a sort of... sort of windmill of bones. <laughs> just like this. Windmill of bones? <laughs> I like... give you the windmill of bones! <laughs> Or was your mum shouting at you to, by way of encouragement? Um, I, I mean, as I recall, it was just get in there. <laughs> get Do in, him. Do him, yeah. Get, get in there, yeah. son, is what I... And was she there the first time you had sex? This <laughs> <laughs> in the street. Your mum was driving yeah. past you, saw yeah. you. She knew about the attack on Chinese... Dave. Dave. Dave, yeah. But where's the hat? So I presume she saw what was going on and thought, oh, it's good that my son is avenging Chinese Dave's. So did she get out of the car or just do it from the window? Was it a drive she got, she got out. You who didn't win the fight? Did your mum then, surely she stepped in and stopped her, or did she say, keep fighting? Well, let me tell you, Patsy, the yeah. fight came to a fairly abrupt end. Why? Uh, and I'm going to give you some very specific detail now. Thank you. Um, because I was chewing polos during the fight. Oh. Uh, the... <laughs> Please, no, you're not going to try and convince us that, that they came out and your mum thought it was teeth. teeth. Hear me out. <laughs> yes, I, yes. I, got I got caught in their mouth and um, literally I spat polos everywhere and my mum went, oh, oh no, it's teeth, it's teeth. <laughs> What's your mum called? Pauline. Uh, has she got a nickname, like Heckling Pauline or anything? Like that? No, although I would tell you she uh, she has an impressive history because she was in a, a play fight with my 
um, dad once, and he uh, he locked himself in a toilet. Yeah. Uh, and to get to him in the play fight, my mum punched a hole through a door. <laughs> so she, so there's, obviously, there's obviously a violent streak in this one. Yeah. <laughs> it is true though. It's definitely true. That is my mum. I could see David in his cub shorts and being being worried about the graffiti. He sort of the sort of person that it would have upset him. And he... I'm intrigued by the, the this this slight like, physical resemblance between Greg and, and the yeah. lady. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. Um, uh, do you mind standing up, Greg? Again, would you stand next to this lady you claim to be your mother? Next to my mum. Well, let's call her a, a woman for now. <laughs> <laughs> right. Now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing for this mean average to work out, your dad is the Jolly Green Giant. <laughs> no, but you see, Lee, it's a fact that a son has to be taller than their mum. It's either Richard or Greg, I think. So that's, okay. that's my answer. So you think it's... <laughs> I think it's Richard. You think it's Richard. You think it's Richard or Greg? Yeah. Would you please reveal your true identity? My name is Pauline. I am Greg's mother. And... <laughs> 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 Pauline is Greg's mum, and she did cheer him on when he had his first ever fight. It must have been awful to see him fighting. Wonderful. 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 <laughs> yeah, man. Thank you very much, Pauline. All right. <laughs> Go, Greg's mom. Pauline. Oh, that answers so much. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> answers so much. Yeah. A lot of questions we had about Greg are now answered. Yep. We've met his mom. Wow. These have all been truths. Yeah, everything's been true so far. All right. <laughs> For my first term at university, I rented the bathroom in a student house and slept in the bathtub every night. <laughs> Wait, Greg. Lie. He's, he's too tall for that. Yeah, oh, yeah. He wouldn't fit no, into sure. a... For sure. A bathtub? No. Yeah, yeah. No way. Let's see him make his case, though. <sighs> yes. Before we even start this, can you stand up? Yeah. <laughs> yep. There'll be no, unless David stands up with me, there'll be no perspective. David? In fact, let's have proper perspective. Tommy, yeah. can you stand up? <laughs> <laughs> you know the question. <laughs> yep. What's the answer? Uh, well, I just uh, hung off the end of the bath. As I hang off every single bed that I've ever slept in, it's... No, 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 no. You definitely don't hang off a bath. No. Like, you hang off a bed. And because <laughs> a bed flat. go like that, and then you hang off. Yeah. The you have to go up and cross and hang off. <laughs> it's thing, all, but you're not a snake, Greg. The thing <laughs> what actually uh, drove me to change my circumstances was that I was genuinely... I was bruising the side of my... Uh, cheek regularly by waking up in the morning and clanging into one of the taps. Yeah, well, Can I ask why on earth you would sleep with your head at the tap end? <laughs> <laughs> that is mad. Yes, well, you know, I was 18 years of age and I mainly lived off uh, Thunderbird wine, so bad so decisions pretty... were my forte at that period. So, yeah. did you have a bed? No. In the house? Did you... oh, oh, so that was the reason you was there in was, the bar? There was a... There was a well, um... why did you think he was in the bar? <laughs> <laughs> I chose to, Phil, yeah. How many other people were there in the flat? Uh, three. Three people, what, three beds? Yeah. Why would you not sleep on the floor next to the bath? We had a giant uh, 1970s sofa that had a particularly a peculiar cor corner unit, mm. and I took um, both cushions from that corner unit, and they fitted in the bath perfectly, and it was incredibly comfortable. So, hang on, it wasn't a freestanding bath, a roll top? Yeah, was it a roll top freestanding? It, it, top, it, it wasn't. Seat. It wasn't a freestanding bath, but the but the end of the bath projected out into the room. Where was this? Where? Which town we, were you? Was this Oxford or Cambridge? <laughs> <laughs> it was in Isleworth in West London. <laughs> <laughs> it was only because of a, a, a mix-up in housing agreements. Uh, we soon sorted out after a term. I only had to do it for a term. What was the mix-up? I'd agreed to move in with these three guys, and we got the wrong size house. <laughs> Hang on, that's not, that's not a mix-up, that's just stupidity. There was four of you, and you got a three-bedroom house with a bit of a mix-up. Okay. <laughs> the boys blamed me, which is why I got the bath. Why did they blame you? Because I was the one who booked the house. <laughs> How did you get into university? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the real question right there. So, Lee, what are you thinking? 
Marcus. I think it's too preposterous to be true. Mm. The taps. Phil? Taps for me. You don't. If you're going to sleep in a bath, you don't put your head no. up the taps. Yeah. I think it might be true, but I'm not going to over. Oh well, you're the skip. You've got the armbands, son. I might be the skip. Do you get armbands if you're a captain? <laughs> Only if you can't swim. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling That's you, cool. I, I don't know. This is in the spirit of this game. This is true. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so let's guess. Let's get. Let's take a guess. I, uh... Knowing what I know about Greg now, I'm gonna say it's true. I think so. Uh, even I mean, just everything has been true. But everyone in their life goes through the most down they've ever been. Yeah. And that's usually around that time. Uh huh. When you could sleep in a bathtub. Yeah. Because now he couldn't. He would be broken. Yeah, yeah, they scrunched them up. I couldn't. I would be broken. I wouldn't either. No. So, uh, if there is a time to make that story up, that is it. Yeah. <laughs> so, I, I will go with true. Okay. All right. True. Let's see. That was sufficiently moving. <laughs> I'm, I'm, going I'm, going I'm going with it. I'm saying it's true now. <laughs> What okay. are you saying, Skippy? Should we say true? True. Not Probably Skippy, yeah. Rob. Not Skippy. That's not good, right? I'm not going to go and go and fetch help. I'm going to skip. Right? Someone's falling into a mine shot. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, mate. True. Change it to true. true. We're, true. It. We're going for truth. Just saying it's true. Greg Davis, were you telling us the truth or were you telling a lie? Do you feel, David, any sense of genuine competition in this game? Yes, I do, yeah. And I think you're going to like me very much. It was a lie. Oh. Oh. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> this is my old neighbour, Gareth, and when I was learning a song, he would distract me by singing the same song in his own flat, but in a different language. All right. Richard Osman, how do you know Gareth? This is Gareth. When he came to watch a recording of Pointless, uh, I have to ask for him to be moved away from the front row because his behaviour was putting me off my statistics. <laughs> and Greg, how do you know Gareth? This is Gareth. He was the rickshaw driver I once paid to pedal me home. By the time we arrived, he was so exhausted, I let him stay on my sofa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> That's a great move. T tell us your story. Um, Not your whole life, you no. know, just, uh, <laughs> just a rickshaw bit. Yeah. I yeah. had a, a, a very big celebration in the, the centre of town. Ooh, what? what reason? I was, I was celebrating uh, leaving teaching. <laughs> <laughs> OK. So uh, I had a very big celebration just after my last night at school. OK. Which mm -hmm. uh, it was ludicrously big. OK. You emerged from the bar in question. Yeah. A little worse for wear. I was a offensively drunk. <laughs> a rickshaw. Yeah. Why? Uh, if I'm honest, I was showing off. I, it, it'd, been, it'd been a day of showing off. How, how far did you have to take, Gareth? It, it was... He had to take me from central London to Hounslow, which is... Hounslow? Yeah. <laughs> it's something like... It's just shy of ten miles. How much was it? It was £163. <laughs> how long and did it take, roughly? Um, I mean, I honestly don't know. You don't, you don't, I honestly I don't gonna, know. I thought you were waiting for the length of time. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you arrive. Yeah. You, you, you give him his money. When does the whole idea of offering him a bed for the night? I, I didn't. We didn't even discuss the money because I got off uh, the bike, and uh, by which point I was incredibly sober, and I looked at his face, and it was, uh, <laughs> it was grey. I mean, I. Genuinely feared for his life, so I said, "Oh my God, you must come in for a bit," and I made him a cup of tea. <laughs> We're better than that, guys. We're better than that. Where did, where did he put his rickshaw? Is that, is that <laughs> How did it progress from the cup of tea to the <laughs> sleep? <laughs> because, because honestly, I, I, I was sober by the time he I got He didn't home. say cup of tea, he said, would you like to come in for a bit? Yeah. <laughs> Ex exhausted from the bit. Biscuits! <laughs> <laughs> fell asleep on the sofa. Yeah. <laughs> no, let, let, let's be clear, you, you, you've invited him up for a bit, you go in... <laughs> what? Yeah. What happens? After the cup of tea, 
I decided that he was clearly still very close to death. <laughs> so I said, uh, would you like to crash on the sofa? And I'll give you a, an extra little detail. As he went past my front garden, he said, what is that? Because I had set fire to my teaching outfit before I'd gone out. <laughs> when my friends first came round, and there was half of a trouser leg left. <laughs> and then I, I saw it, went, is that half a trouser leg? Has, <laughs> has someone spontaneously combusted? <laughs> <laughs> we need an answer. So, uh, David's team uh, is Gareth, Gareth Malone's synchronised singer. Is he Richard's pointless punter? Or is he Greg's shattered chauffeur? I've got a horrible feeling he's the pointless punter after all of <laughs> So is he, is he Greg's guy? It has to be. Has to be. It has to be. That's the, a crazy story. There's no way you could make that up. No. No. Oh, my God. That's 163 pounds. That is one expensive Uber. It is. I mean, I, I, I'm assuming a rickshaw is like a pedicab over here. Like... What, where they pedal you? Yeah, the pedal. Yeah. They pedal you. And, you know, Greg, he's a big dude, so... Yeah, that's... Pedaling of 10 miles? <laughs> that's tail, dude. Like, you, you've got to, like, let him in and, like... God, man. I mean, you don't, you don't you have just, to fix him up. Get, that, that is his one and done for the night. Yeah, yeah. Made 163 pounds, got a nice cup of tea and place to sleep for the night. Yep. Man. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to say it's, it's Greg's guy. And I would have been, like... I retire after this. <laughs> right? I just can't do it. I mean, look, yeah. man, I, I just left education myself, so that that's an ex, a, a way to celebrate is to get pissed Go big. drunk yep. and burn all your yep. shit. Yep. Yep. Yeah. I agree. Do you think, think Pointless Panther? Yeah. See, I'm thinking rickshaw driver. Yeah, the detail that Greg was giving was... The detail of the burnt trouser yeah. leg is... That was like he'd forgotten himself and he was getting into his story. Yeah. Oh, I'm really excited. But you're, but you're discounting Gareth altogether. Oh, completely, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're going, you're going for the two, the two tall yeah. guys oh, there, the two know. lanky dudes. Hey. Yeah. Um, you know what? We're just two guys. We're just two people, well, all right? The two, the two lampposts there. We're just... um... <laughs> so, David, what are you going to say? You, um, you, you, uh... I'm going. I'm going to because I don't. I genuinely. You're abstaining. I'm, I'm going to go with the team captains. Final decision. If I had a gun to your head, though, Amanda, and don't rule it out, <laughs> <laughs> who would you go for? Greg. You'd go for, you'd go for Greg, all right. Or Rich. <laughs> what do you think? I think Greg. You think Greg now? Oh, no. We'll say Greg, we'll say Greg. Let's They're yeah. saying that it is Greg. Not... Gareth. <laughs> He's a pointless contestant. Would you please... <laughs> I've taken your answer. Yeah, Would you now observe the rules of yeah. the game yeah. and please <clears throat> treat this with a little more respect? <laughs> Gareth, would you please reveal your true identity? My name is Gareth, and I once distracted Gareth. <laughs> <laughs> When I was a teenager, oh, man. I used to... That's funny, though. I wanted that Greg story I to be it, true. I needed it to be true. I needed it, too, but... Oh, well. <sighs> I feel like... Yeah, I don't know. Come on. I don't know. That's on, crazy, man. man. Ah. I used to have to button my legs in order to squeeze into tight leather trousers. It's all people problems. Yeah. What, what age sort of thing? What, what age are we talking? I was, se I was 17, and it was when I was experimenting with being a goth, actually. You don't look like a good goth to me, because you're too close to the sun. I, I wasn't. <laughs> oh, man! Isn't there, isn't there an issue of uh, rancidity in when the, you know, when the, when the, uh, when the temperature of a room changes? Yeah. It, it's a very volatile substance. It, it moves from a solid to a liquid in the blink of an eye. And... Uh, <laughs> There's an issue around older here. You're forgetting that I was a teenager when I was doing this, and I and I generally stank. It, I mean, it wasn't butter actually; it was a, a margarine spread. Of worse. Sort. It wasn't worse. It worked. The reason I had to do it is because uh, I'm ludicrously tall, and the only tight trousers around um, stopped sort of, you know, like half a foot below my knee, so it would look like I was wearing some sort of perverse lederhosen. <laughs> so the only tight trousers that would fit me were, were sort of women's lycra leggings. <laughs>
how did you manage to hold the trousers to pull them up now that your hands were very slippy with the marge? Well, I, I would put the marge on and then, um, interesting thing, in Shropshire, running water. I would wash my hands. <laughs> <laughs> and who else knew about this? Um, my sister was the only person who knew, and that's because she walked into my bedroom when I was applying the marge. <laughs> oh, uh, I, I was very keen to that explain. That must have been one of the worst moments of her young life. <laughs> So what do you think? Uh, what do we think? That looks, that sounds like the plot of an in-betweeners episode is, <laughs> yep. that's something Will would do. Yes. <laughs> yes. Or, or Jay uh, and, 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 and like spread, applying the margarine means something completely different. Yeah. Yeah. Now, it, it, true I, or not? I, I think, you know, he, since he's mixed it up lately, I, I, I think this is true. Yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to go with lie. Okay. Because that's. <laughs> Margarine, man. Who, who? Okay, okay. He's a bit older. Margarine was still a thing, but I'm still just gonna say lie, just because of the patterns. <laughs> I think it's yeah. I think it's the truth. So All let's right. let's check we'll it. it. Let's see. Yep. It's not playing out very well in the playground of my imagination. No. <laughs> uh, I think that's the most uh, wonderful way anyone has said lie on this show. Yeah. <laughs> Wanted to be true. It is true. Because to see you in a woman's legging would be magical. Yeah. Oh, well, uh, you just call me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got my doubts here is because we've gone from leather to lycra and butter to margarine. No, they oh, were leather. Yes. No, 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 no. They were leather effect. You didn't ask me. They, they were a sort of leather effect trouser. I can't believe it's not leather. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, Lee. Okay, what are you going to say? You're saying it's a lie. Alex is saying. Oh, I'm it's... sorry, John. I'd love to agree, but I think he's a bit weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people do alternative things with groceries at that age, I think. Alternative things? <laughs> oh my god! Not that <laughs> 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 I don't know what you want to say? It's Safer. a lie. Say it's a lie. Yeah. Okay. Greg, truth or lie? Uh, it's a lie. Thank God! Oh, thank God. Just for his own sake. Of course, it had to be a lie. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I mean, people do do alternative <sighs> things with grocery. Yeah. Especially Jay in the Inbetweeners movie. You remember oh the God. first part? What oh the my. fuck? Yeah, I'll, was... I'll never look at Ham the same way again. No. no. Oh my God. No. And this is Ian. When he brought his lizards onto Blue Peter, one of them went missing. Later that evening, I found it in my handbag. This is Ian. I sat next to him on a plane, and he had such a fear of flying that I had to hold his hand throughout takeoff. And <laughs> no. Uh, Greg, how, how do you know Ian? Um, this is my friend Ian. Uh, one night after getting drunk together, he was wrongly arrested on suspicion of murder. Oh, wow. I uh, got drunk with Ian, um, and later he was arrested wrongly on suspicion of murder. Um, thank God that bit's in. Yeah. <laughs> so what's the, what's the, what, what happened? Um, well, I, I wasn't really part of it because we both passed out. It was a, a college ball and right. we all drank vast amounts, particularly Ian and I drank uh, a ridiculous amount and then both collapsed. The last thing I remember is Ian falling down and, uh, and him obviously being horribly hurt. And uh, I woke up on a carpet and ran That's upstairs. That's a nice change from the bath. <laughs> Not in the bath. <laughs> I ran upstairs and he was sitting up in his bed, uh, honestly looking, his face was like a swollen, like a pumpkin. And uh, then he told me that that night, uh, when he'd been stumbling about drunk, he'd been arrested for murder because someone with a similar facial wound had murdered someone in the town. Oh. So what was similar, oh, so the facial wound from falling? Yeah. And someone, someone with a similar facial wound had murdered somebody else. Yeah, that's we, unlucky. Where so was this? What, <laughs> sort of, <laughs> why did they? How did they know he wasn't the murderer? What was the defining point in the interview? He told me that they had questioned him for hours, and eventually he said to the police, and I think this is a quote: "I'll be honest with you, lads, I could well have done it." Oh! <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Woke it up. <laughs> yeah, 
Yes, it yeah. upsets me to think that police respond to double bluffs like that. <laughs> <laughs> and just to be clear, it, it was proven at the end that he had absolutely nothing to do with it. Correct. Right. Obviously, is... otherwise he wouldn't be here. Right. <laughs> so, please, team. Is Ian Connie's reptile wrangler, David's frightened flyer, or Greg's suspicious friend? Which one are you going for? What do we think, Phil? I quite like Connie. Well, we all do. Well, there you go. <laughs> Focus, Phil. Yeah. Right. No, I can imagine a bit of blue PT. He looks yeah. like a chap who might sort of keep lizards. I don't know why. <laughs> I, I, I'm slightly leaning towards Greg, only because I don't, I don't believe David. Um, I'm inclined to think that Connie's story is, is true. Oh, go on then, Connie, if, you, if you've suckered these two idiots into it, I'll go along with that. <laughs> Ian. Would you like to reveal to us your true identity? My name is Ian. Whilst at college with uh, Greg Davis, we got very drunk <laughs> one night and uh, was wrongly arrested on suspicion of murder. Wow. I have never been that drunk in my life <laughs> that I admitted to a crime I did not like, admit. I could have. Yeah. I was that it. drunk. That sounds like a Ron White move. It's like, ah, eh, fuck it. Nope. Could have been me. Fuck it. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Uh, you gotta lay off the pints, man. God, could you imagine how much this man must consume to get, like, tipsy? You, Greg? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, probably gallons. Yeah. Gallons. Yeah, of, yeah. Of, of alcohol. Yeah, he doesn't order pints, he orders gallons. Yeah. The kegs. He's the keg crusher. Yeah, like, he's a. <laughs> just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get him to do a keg stand would be like, you gotta get a ladder to do that. <laughs> yeah. No, you need a, like a, a, a crane. Uh huh. Like, my God, dude. Oh, man. When I went up in the morning, he was sitting upright in bed and his head was three times its natural size. <laughs> and I went, oh, my God, mate, are you all right? And he looked at me and, and, like this and went, we've gone too far this time. Mate. <laughs> yes. Hi. Once invented a language so I could speak to my sister in secret. I even gave this language its own name. <laughs> What's the name of the language? It uh, is not uh, a word <laughs> that you will have heard of, and the word is cushion. Cushion. What? Yeah. Cushion. So like, like cushion, but cushion. <laughs> yeah. And cushion. could you say something in cushion? Yes. <laughs> what, what? Did you say something? <laughs> is, that, is that what yes is in Cushing? I didn't claim that the language was sophisticated. <laughs> I would say you're arbitrarily adding a sort of sh sound. So do a sentence. OK. <laughs> uh, <laughs> ashk am sh <laughs> Ashk am <laughs> um, it's obviously been a long time since yeah. Lush, I lost I mean Joy Skink the the, the, the Shakespeareish of uh, what I lost to you. You said that you said that on Sesame Street. If it's so simple, what did I say then? Yeah. You said you said I am loving, loving the experience of what I like. No, I didn't. I said I'm largely enjoying the experience of what I like to you. So uh, it looks like it's not a simple schedule. <laughs> 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 so, where, where did the name? So let's let's try and do our intro <laughs> in that language. What skiku shkiyashk? What? That's no. I can't do that. I'm gonna just get. I'm gonna fall on my face. I can't. <laughs> that's too much. Oh okay. my god. We can't do it. No, that's crazy. Uh huh. <laughs> what the hell? I. First of all, I believe him right off the bat. You believe him? Yeah, okay. I mean, someone with siblings, I, I, I assume that that's what they do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll believe him. I yeah. believe him. Yeah, I mean, right? I never did that with, with my brother, but, you know, <laughs> yeah, but I believe it. I believe it. it he, I, anyway, yeah. <laughs> now you're speechless. You can't even. No, because it's like if they went, if they were close to the same age, yeah. I could see that. Yeah, yeah. Because they could talk in school and talk bullshit in school. Exactly, yeah. You know. I believe it. Yeah. 
for this language cushion come from? I, I honestly can't remember, but it was called uh, cushion. And I can tell you uh, part of the language, and I, I'm afraid I can't explain this to you, would be sometimes mid-sentence, sometimes at the end of a sentence, <laughs> just to loudly proclaim cushion. <laughs> cushion is talking with random sh if you can squeeze them in, yeah. and occasionally going cushion <laughs> in, in the middle or at the end of a sentence. You know, and my, and my parents... <laughs> my parents didn't... <laughs> they didn't work out cushion, uh, as simplistic as you clearly think it is. They didn't work it out, so... They didn't work it out. When you no, said, I, no, I squanched to go to the shops, they went, <laughs> oh, what on earth did oh he say? Oh, my God. Come on, David. He's been... Push on! <laughs> <laughs> so, David, he's been quite fulsome, a lot of detail, <laughs> but is it the truth or is it a lie? What do you think? Well, I believed him up until the point where he went, Cushon! And then I... <laughs> and then I, I he's enjoying Cushon yeah, far too much. Yeah. enjoying it. Uh, although and he could be enjoying it with the fact that his yeah, sister is yeah. watching their secret language being yeah. outed. Yeah. She it's... won't... She won't dislike it. She'll be Ashkelushkli delighted. I don't... <laughs> <laughs> I don't... I don't... And that... That, my friends, so far is the biggest Cushon of them all! <laughs> <laughs> um, it's not inconceivable. But it is unlikely. What do you think? Truth or lie? Lie. Lie, let's do lie. it. Lie. You're lie. saying it's a lie? OK. Greg, truth or lie? All right. Yeah, we already said yeah. lie. Truth, right? Yeah, okay, I okay. said truth. I want to be sure. Ashk, <coughs> washk, telishk, the trushk. Oh! Oh! Wow. Is that your technique? Goggles off, pants down. <laughs> I mean, do you not go to your locker? I would take the goggles off, put them in the locker. I wouldn't go goggles off, pants down, right? <laughs> Where's my locker? I, I remember this one. Without yeah. question, a lie. In think... fact, if it is the truth, I'm prepared to pull my trousers and pants down right now on the show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I'm not comfortable with that sort of forfeit becoming <laughs> part of the format of this game. So you are willing to say that you are willing drop your trousers if this is true. Yeah. Can we get you some goggles as well? <laughs> I don't know. I don't need them. My eyes will be closed. For God's sake! <laughs> Lee, was it the truth or was it a lie? <laughs> it is, in fact, Greg, true. Uh-oh! <laughs> I just whispered, could you change it? Because it was, in fact, a lie. No, no, I don't believe him anymore. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh, what was that from? Everyone, please let us know what that, that last scene from. Oh my god, <laughs> that was that just yeah, 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 that whole thing. two thumbs up, dude. Yeah. What I love him, I, I think he's awesome. Greg is the man, he's awesome. Uh, yeah, we've been asked to do like. Him on Taskmaster and all the other things. Yeah. He, you, but just know he has a home on this yeah, channel. Yeah, he's, we'll he's get not. Eventually. Yeah, he's not going away from the channel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Man. <laughs> God. Oh man, that's a great. He's a great storyteller Dude, too. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, his acting. I feel like his 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 time teaching, being a teacher, helped him act so much. Yeah. Yeah. Because you've got to put on. A As show. someone who has worked on in education, yeah, you've got to put on a show sometimes yep. just to get through the fucking day. That's wild, man. Oh, my God. I love this. Yeah. I love this. I love him. He's awesome, man. Yeah. Comment below more. Greg Davis. Davis or Davies? I don't uh, know. I think it might be Davies. Yeah, yeah. And some more What I Lie to You. Yeah. Because they both have a home on this channel. Definitely. And uh, thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, hitting the bell, and sharing with your friends. <laughs> Scaring with your friends. <laughs> <laughs> and unplug. Um,
and do something epic. <laughs> <laughs> Kushon! Kushon! <laughs> Later. <laughs>